Hello XDC family and welcome back to Crypto Ready. If you want to be ready for crypto, then you are in the right place. Today we have got an amazing video lined up for the XDC family. We are going to be talking about subnets coming to XDC 2.0. So what do they mean? We will also cover the importance of the ISO standard. And finally, some explosive stuff from Atoll on Finternet and the acceleration of web 3 adoption so i hope you will stick around to the end we shall continue right after the intro looking at coin market cap currently the total market cap is 2.28 trillion up by about one and a half percent and as we can see with the rest of the market nothing really interesting is happening here as you can see everything is kind of ranging between certain prices but I do honestly think the bottom is in. We are looking at an explosive uptrend from October to December because that's when the money will start flowing in. So right now, even at this time, you still have an opportunity to buy your favorite cryptos for a discount. Looking at some important news, how BNY Mellon's SEC approval could reshape crypto custody landscape. So skipping out all the jargon guys, this basically means that the banks are coming to custody your crypto. Do you remember guys, we discussed this opportunity for the banks many years ago and now it's happening, right? They are not going to let this opportunity go past because they know it's the future technology. It's going to be worth in the hundreds of trillions and every single person almost will be using digital assets or some form of digital cash in the future. Like I said many times before guys, I honestly think that the dominance of exchanges and other custodians that have just come into these markets are really going to be rattled by the banks because the banks have been doing it for a long time. Banks are going to get that approval by the SEC and by other regulators to custody our crypto. So guys, the end is going to be banks looking after our crypto we shall see how this develops but it's looking more and more likely the banks are coming in to take their share looking at some more important news regarding the elections in the usa the world believes that trump winning will be better for crypto so we have got a lot of big institutions a lot of big players out there some billionaires putting their money behind trump because they believe trump is the better man for crypto but in my honest opinion regardless of whoever wins the elections crypto is gonna flourish we are gonna get regulations and yes crypto will be worldwide because it is the future currency and just before we move on to some massive xdc updates i now have an instagram account first of all i want to thank everybody who has come forward to follow me the link is now at the top of the video guys don't miss this opportunity guys because a lot of the videos that i put on instagram i cannot put anywhere else so don't miss out looking at the xdc chart currently xdc is almost three cents an amazing sight to see but we are not here for these small gains the market cap is 439 million only right just look at that market cap. XDC is attacking and supporting markets which are going to be worth in the hundreds of trillions in the longer term. Does this market cap make any sense? No guys, right? This is a half a billion market cap. XDC is going to be in the hundreds of billions. You are still early. There's no doubt about that. So invest in your future right now at three cents. You will not get a better chance. Looking at tweet from XDC Foundation. Subnets are coming to XDC Network with XDC 2.0. Allowing users to deploy a permission blockchain that offers the same performance as mainnet while providing full sovereignty over data. With the launch of subnets, a range of tools will be introduced to help users. Here's a look at the key tools coming with subnets. Subnet Manager UI. Manage and monitor subnets easily with a homepage for details, a transaction confirmation checker and settings for configurations. Then we've got subnet generator, streamline subnet deployment with customizable configurations like node, count and gas fees. And then finally we have subswap, provides a cross-chain dApp known as decentralized application that uses XDC0 infrastructure for seamless asset transfer and swapping between subnets and mainnet. And these are going to go live with XDC 2.0, which is going to happen in the next few hours, guys, right? You do not understand how big XDC 2.0 is going to be. And with subnets, guys, even if you got small improvements, they are going to be winners. With XDC 2.0 coming in, with all the upgrade features that we already know about speed, transparency, security, all these things combined are going to be explosive to any single person that wants to use XDC. So the future is here guys, XDC 2.0 is going to be the one 
which we're going to be talking about at the end of the video guys so please stick around looking at a tweet from smoke why is it important for a blockchain network to be iso 20022 compliant well this compliance ensures interoperability between a token and swift's network of 11,000 member banks for tokens like the x coins which are designed to facilitate cross-border payments and financial transactions this compliance enables seamless communication and data exchange with established financial institutions so the triple x coins guys right they are aligning to the iso standard they are going to be that bridge between the old and the new which is already happening in real time and how is xdc going to stand out from the rest for this particular example we have got Andre Kosterman. He has got decades and decades of experience with Swift. He's now on our board. He's making the changes necessary to make XDC that leader in this space. So just imagine how high XDC is going to go. Because guys, we've got the right people at the right time. They are making the right changes. They are going to make XDC global. And talking about this moment in time, XDC is already pretty much global because we are already connected with some of the biggest names in the world, moving a lot of value already. A lot of this value is not going to be seen by the retail because it's under NDAs or so many other things. It can't be disclosed yet. But XDC meeting the ISO standard, it is not a coincidence, right? It has been pre-planned. XDC meets that standard. It means value movement. It means a lot of value will be moving through XDC as well. But with Andre Kosterman, I do think we are going to lead this transformation. Looking at it from T-Hub, introducing the XDC Network Finternet Accelerator Program, empowering Web3 startups for a brighter future. So this is an amazing time to be alive, guys. If you've got an idea, get in, because the Finternet Accelerator Program is going to give you mentorship, funding, and token deployment to scale your Web3 startup on the XDC network. One of the best blockchains in the world and very shortly we're going to be listening to a clip from atoll talking about fintanet web3 and xdc obviously because xdc is the chosen one so here we have the clip guys from co-founder atoll who's unveiling xdc networks fintanet accelerator program in partnership with tiob as we just discussed with that tweet but guys there's a lot of good golden nuggets of information in here let's have a quick listen to this video clip and then we shall discuss it straight after well, sometime in 2024, early this year, Bank of International Settlements and our very own Mr. Nandan Nilekani presented this research paper called the Finternet or the Future of Financial Internet Application. What it means is that the next generation of applications will not be internet based, they will be Finternet based. So there will be a unified layer of finance, internet and assets all tied together with a personal control that gives power back to every individual. XDC network is a base layer for building such applications. Not just we have a proprietary consensus driven public layer one network, which has been tested and tried and proven since the last six years. But what we have is also a subnet or a gasless subnet, which works within the laws of the land. Well, what you might be wondering is that how it's going to work. Simply, your next generation of applications like Swiggy's or Zomato's or Zeroda or all your banking applications are now going to transform into the Finternet applications. What you're going to have is a great seamless and smooth experience working with them. All the hassles of having disconnected different systems is going to go away. And with that inspiration and with that message, I'm very excited to hand over our unified layer, the XDC network. To the builders at T-Hub, who are our great partners, who work with other great corporations, banks, financial institutions, to build the next generation of internet applications and build the next unicorns out of India, will not just be successful in India, but even take the technology outside of India and become big globally. So as we just heard there, XTC has been the base layer for this future revolution. So this basically means, guys, combining finance and internet moving value seamlessly, instantly, without any fees. And this is where XTC comes in. XTC, as you heard there, has been doing it for more than six years, and it's been happening in real time, guys. Right now, more and more institutions are going to join in. Finternet is the future because they all want to be on that level playing field. XTC definitely is ahead of the game. Subnets are coming in. XTC 2.0 is coming in. We are getting better and better features. So it's only a matter of time, guys, where XDC gets that global recognition 
and the price finally catches up. So guys, be prepared. Looking at tweet from Everything X, Phoenix Dragon. Wait, what? Are you ready? Start dreaming and stack more. Don't be a slacker, be a multi stacker. So he's talking about gold, silver, the triple X coins. I totally agree. These are gonna be the future. I'm not saying there's not gonna be any more projects because we've got millions of tokens right now. But once we have them regulations, once we have that clarity, I do honestly think a handful of blockchains are going to be running the future world and they are going to be running the future of money, right? You're not going to have 10,000 blockchains running value for the world. You're going to have a handful few. And I think XDC and the triple X coins do have a high chance of success in the future value. So right now with the markets being down, yes, it is a good time to stack, diversify, never invest everything into one coin, invest into certain others, do your due diligence because utility is going to win the damn day. Talking about XDC 2.0, guys, today is the day. Xism of Future says it nicely here. History in the making. Yes, XDC 2.0 is gonna go down in the history books. As you can see on the screen right now, at the time of this video, XDC scan is showing us that we have five hours to go before XDC 2.0 is launched. We have just over 13,000 blocks remaining. What an exciting time to be alive. What an exciting time to be holding XDC. Right now at 3 cents, it's an amazing time to be DCAing in. Not financial advice, but this is what I'm doing. And many people that I know are doing the exact same. This is a long term play. In the long term, we will all be very wealthy. But you gotta have them diamond hands. If you haven't got them diamond hands, I'm afraid you will not make it. But to make generational wealth, you have to stack as much as you can. So now, as you can see, less than five hours to go for something as big as XDC 2.0 to go live. It's going to be an amazing sight to see. But what matters most is what follows once XDC 2.0 is live. What I believe and I speculate, a lot of more institutions are going to start showing their hand for XDC. Because if we've got BlackRock already connected to XDC, JP Morgan, so many others, do we really need anybody else? Because these guys are going to bring everybody to the level playing field. And I think XDC is going to lead that level playing field. So guys, get your ducks in a row and get your crypto safe and offline. That's the main thing, guys. Never have more than you need on exchanges. A decent wallet ad is going to follow shortly. Use the links in the video. Get yourself a discount on a decent wallet. This discount ain't going to last forever, guys. So take advantage while you still can. I shall see you on the other side. The Decent Wallet has unmatched security. It's perfected with fingerprint technology. And the best thing is it supports 63 mainnets and 3,600 plus cryptocurrencies. The reviews for the Decent Wallet have been amazing, all five stars. And talking about how durable the Decent Wallet is, we have an example from a customer here. As you see here, a rat attacked their decent wallet box and the decent hardware wallet itself. And as you can see, it was in quite a bad state. But even then, it is so durable that it was still working as it needed to be. And just before we talk about how you can get your hands on a discount for a decent wallet, they now have a decent blog where you can learn about blockchain, smart contracts, every single thing you can imagine about blockchain and cryptos on their blog so check it out i'm going to leave a link in the description so how can you get your hands on this amazing wallet to secure your crypto today click on the link in the description or at the top of the video right now buy one decent wallet and get 50 dollars off and if you want to buy a two-pack decent wallet you can then get a bigger discount of 129 dollars off so help yourself to the links guys and buy the decent wallet at a discount and secure your generational wealth today